Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss and show the difference between the Optex VXI, which is the new generation, the old one was called the VX40, this is the VXI Outdoor PRR Dual Passive, and this is called the FIT series, the FTN series, and also made by Optex. These are two sensors, and they are quite different in their operation. Well, the, the sensing range is considerably different. For example, this one senses 90 degrees, which means you can set this 90 degrees. So this sensor will measure 12 meters at an angle of 90 degrees. The maximum is 12 meters, you can reduce it. While the FIT series can give you 5 meters or 2 meters, depending on how you set it inside, and it really gives it in a straight line. It's, it's, this is closer to a dual beam, although you don't need a receiver on the other side. While this one is a PIR and it kind of gives you a flood of sensing. For example, let me show you if I move the camera. This whole area will be covered by this VX, the sensor on the top, all the way up to 12 meters. So you can walk 12 meters and it should cover it. While the FIT series, which is this one, will not be able to sense outside of its, where its line of sight is. For example, here I'm now in line with the FIT series, it's now picking me up. If I move here, it won't pick me up. So it's only if you kind of cross it, and if I come to this window, then I can see it's activated. There is a little bit of a, a range, it's not exactly like a beam in that it's got a very narrow angle, it's probably about five or so degrees, because if I move here, it still picks me up from where I am here. But when I'm here, it will no longer pick me up. So the, the range is very narrow. But why I like the sensor is it is very accurate. It almost never false alarms. The VXI on the other hand also doesn't false alarm but because it measures a wide area, birds, large birds, I'm not talking about pigeons, I'm talking about large birds, we have something called a hardy dar, it's got very large wingspan and it actually sets off the sensor. Um, here I have the FIT series FTN. This sensor was actually over here. And what would happen is somebody would have a shower or a bath and the heat that would come out of the window would actually activate the sensor. sensor. You must just be careful on where you put it because it is sensitive but only in its line of sight. For example, if you've got washing moving on a line or things like that, uh, then it will go off. So if you've got here a windowsill and a cat would normally walk on this windowsill, don't put the FT in there. It will pick it up. The cap will break the, uh, will interfere with the both lines of the PLR and it will set it off. So you just got to be careful on how you place these sensors. If you place them with a critical review of the area, then you won't get false alarms. For example, just moving the sensor a little bit away from the wall and reducing the sensitivity has resulted in no false alarms for months. Yet it still picks up a person. If I come near the window, Yes, I can see the sensor is activated. So these are some of the things about installing PRR sensors. These fit sensors are very handy, especially if you put them in hidden positions. For example, here I have a corner. An intruder might be walking like this. And they'll get caught because there's actually a sensor sitting here looking at them. So they may not have seen it because it's quite small on the wall which is one of the benefits of the sensor is that it's actually small while if you're looking at the tachex and so forth they're quite big and they're actually very obvious so a person would uh, an intruder might think about going a different way if they're trying to break into a property while the fit series you can actually hide them so for example so for example, here is a fit series on the wall there. An intruder just walking past here would not have been able to see round the corner and as they came and looked, the fit series sensor would have caught them. Whereas the TACX, you can see it, um, and, the, and the reason why I'm, I'm giving this example, and it's not just against the TACX, is that if you peek your head over like this, 
the TACX won't be able to see you because you're over the height that the TACX can sense. The TACX and the optics, the range called the VX and the, uh, the TACX, they only sense up to about the height of the sensor. So someone could actually peek over, whereas the FIT series, you can see I've placed it higher. Just peeking over this here, I can see it's picking me up. The LED is actually flashing. So that is the beauty of the FIT series. And I really uh, recommend those as an addition to a high secure alarm system.